Let's first create a simple animation for Suzanne. Hit the I key, in order to add a keyframe, and choose location. Then move forward in time. Change the position, and add a second keyframe. Let's create a second window by dragging from the corner. Change the window type to the graph editor. Now we can add F curve modifiers to our animation curve. To do that, select one of the curves and then hit N, to reveal the properties panel. At the bottom you will find a button that says, Add Modifier. There are several modifiers to choose from. Let's pick, Built-in Function, which by default will add a sine wave to the curve. As you can see the animation is now looping based on the modifier. We can change the settings of this modifier here. Amplitude affects how large the movement is. Phase multiplier changes the frequency of the movement. Let's preview our animation by hitting Alt A. If we want to use this modifier for a limited amount of time, we can use the restrict frame range functionality. Now our animation is driven by the modifier for only 80 frames. The speaker symbol will toggle the effect of the modifier on and off. To delete the modifier you simply click on the X. That's how you use F-curve modifiers in Blender. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.